Okay, let's try uh, an example. And let's do a uh, aluminum wire. And a copper wire. And let's say that these things have the same dimensions. Okay, the aluminum wire and the copper wire are the same thickness and also the same length. Okay. And let's tell you that the uh, resistance of the aluminum wire is 0 0.2 ohms. And let's ask the question, what is the resistance of the copper wire? Okay. Let's go back to our definition of resistance, right? Resistance was resistivity rho times L over A. L over A is the same for both, okay? Same L over A, if all those dimensions are the same. And so we can rewrite this equation slightly as the following. L over A equals R over rho. And now we can write this for aluminum. L over A equals R for aluminum over rho for aluminum. And for copper, L over A is equal to R for copper over rho for copper. And now we can put these things together, right? L over A is the same, so we can equate the right sides. And what we're looking for is R of copper. So let's write it like this. R of copper divided by the resistivity of copper is equal to R of aluminum divided by the resistivity of aluminum. So what is R of copper? It is rho of copper divided by rho of aluminum times R of aluminum. What we told you was resistance for aluminum. What we need is the resistivity for aluminum and copper right there. And that you have to look up in the textbook, okay? So if you flip open the textbook and you find the correct table in this chapter, you should get this following. Resistivity of copper is 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight ohm meters. Those are SI units. Aluminum is 2.82 times 10 to the minus eight, also ohm meters. And we have a resistance now of 0 0.2 ohms, which was given to us. So, if you plug in all those numbers, I did it earlier, you get 0 0.12 ohms. All right, R of copper we just found was 0 0.12 so which of these makes a better extension cord? Does aluminum or copper make a better extension cord? Okay, copper, right? Everything else was the same, same length, same width, and yet the copper has a resistance that is much smaller than the aluminum, right? It's on the order of half the resistance of aluminum. And so when you go to Home Depot and you buy a big long extension cord, those cables that are inside the thing, those are gonna be made of something like copper, a good conductor. Aluminum turns out to be not a very good conductor. All right? If you spend more money on your extension cable, it will also be thicker. So what you'll notice is in the extension cord aisle, there will be a 25 foot extension cord for $10. And then next to it, there'll be a 25 foot extension cord for $20. Look at the cross-sectional area A and what you'll notice is the more expensive one is thicker. It has a bigger A, which is ultimately gonna get you a lower overall resistance.